What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got right here the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra and I'm gonna answer the question, should you buy this device when we have things like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or the iPhone 15 Pro Max, the OnePlus 12 and whatnot? I honestly think this is a direct competitor to those devices, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, for example. So I'm gonna start things off with battery life and for me, I think battery life is a reason you should buy this device. Why? I've been using this and it's easily a two-day phone for me. And in fact, it performs better than the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Like this phone lasts a, a good full two days for me, whereas the S24 Ultra, like I have to start charging it into my second day. Like that has good battery life, but this has even better. 5,500 milliamp hour battery performs like a champ. Anyone who is looking for awesome battery life, I think you should really consider this device. It also has that 65 watt wire charging. And look at look at the bottom right here. It's got everything. It's got the speakers. It's got a headphone jack for those who use a headphone jack. It's got USB-C right on the bottom left for 65 watt wire charging. Uh, the SIM ejector tray right here, and also supports 15 watts of wireless charging as well. So that does say a lot. Like they put some really good stuff into the battery department and i know many people do prioritize having great battery life over other aspects of the device like cameras or performance for example but yeah i can easily say this is a great phone for battery life and for me right now in 2024 this is the best phone i've used with the well this is the best battery life phone that i've used so far not only that it has awesome performance and that's to be expected with the asus zenfone 11 ultra it has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. My model has 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, but I do believe you can get one with 16 gigs of RAM and more storage, so that's also really nice. In addition, it has a near stock Android experience. Uh, I think it's Asus Zen UI, but you can uh, change, like when you're setting up the phone and later on, you can change it to literally stock Android or Asus Zen UI. And I chose Asus Zen UI because it does have some extra features uh, that makes the phone a little bit better than stock Android that you won't get with that stock Android look and feel. But it's nice that Asus offers you uh, that choice. Which one do you want to choose? And I really do like it. I mean, the lock screen stuff is a little bit different. It's got an in-display fingerprint sensor. Yes, it's using an optical. Uh, it shines that light and it's not as accurate as the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but that's okay. You get used to it over time. In addition, you get a 6.7 inch OLED panel. It's 120 hertz and it can go up to 144 hertz, but only in gaming mode. It's LTPO, so it can go down to as low as one hertz to save on battery life. Here's the catch though. It's only 1080p, it's not quad HD, but I'll be completely honest with you. Like I've been using my Galaxy S24 Ultra in 1080p. I just don't have the need to go like 1440p or anything like that. Um, but maybe that might stray some people away because it doesn't have 1440p, but honestly, that's perfectly fine that it has 1080p. It, it definitely does help with the, the battery life and you're not losing out on the experience. Like watching content on this has been awesome. Now, I think these are the main fundamentals, at least for me. And if you ask me this question, like, hey, should you, would you buy the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra? I'll be honest with you. I personally would. Here's the thing. I didn't talk about cameras. Because camera is good on this, it's decent, but if you're looking for like S24 Ultra or iPhone 15 Pro Max quality, I don't think you're going to find it here. And in fact, like the S24 Ultra has a more versatile camera, has more uh, options and things you can do with the camera. Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra, it, it gets the job done. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but it's just not up there. Like it doesn't speak ultra camera quality. And some companies just have to prioritize or unprioritize to have a lower price. I bought this for $8.99 and sometimes they just have to cut some corners. And for the most part, Ace did a great job with this. And I will recommend it. I can easily recommend it. If your priority is great battery life, as well as awesome near stock Android performance. Like you really can't go wrong. I feel like Asus Zenfone series, like the Zenfone 10, maybe went under the radar for being a compact flagship. And the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra is going under the radar for just being another big phone. But I really don't see it that way. I mean, I like this design too. 
Like, look at the logo right here. It really does stand out. It looks like the ROG phone. I think it was the ROG phone 7. Uh, the, phone, the phone 6 or the phone 7, I forgot. <laughs> There's so many phones that are coming out lately. I lost track of the Asus ROG phone, and I'd like to review that too. So definitely um, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the ROG phone, the latest one, uh, if you want to see that on the channel. But here's the thing. It's, it gets a lot of things done. And yes, it does cut some corners, but that's completely okay. If you do prioritize battery life and awesome performance, I think you should pick up the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra. They're going under the radar. Like we have so many op options here in the US. It's not just Samsung, it's not just iPhone. It's not even just OnePlus or Pixel. Like there's so many other devices that we can pick up. And that's why I'm here to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions about these different devices that we can pick up here in the US. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Uh, but really consider this uh, for those specific reasons. And for me, those are the specific reasons why I will be switching like my main device is going to be the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra after my review period until obviously other phones do come out. I really like this design. I love the look and feel of it. The near stock Android, uh, the awesome battery life for me, it's great. Like I, I don't really um, prioritize in the camera quality. It's good, it's decent, it gets the job done for me. That's all that matters. So I'm all set there, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And Asus, if you do come across this video, I'd love to see a smaller Asus Zenfone 11. Keep that compact flagship lineup going. That's been it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, definitely be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. Well, help push my content out to more people. And also definitely be sure to check out my latest wallpaper pack. It's called Urban Glow. I'll be leaving that in the link in the description down below as well as my other wallpaper packs and my Notion templates uh, that help me get work done here for the channel, like my YouTube video planner. I have a finance template planner, social media content planner, and things like that. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.